Hey everyone, it's Rachel. Today we're going to talk about palm muting, what it is, and how to do it. This is the second of my guitar lessons for beginners videos. If you haven't seen the first on how to play power chords, I'll have that linked in the description. So to start off, what is palm muting? Palm muting is a technique that is used across many different genres of music, but is super common in rock and metal music, and pretty much every rock or metal song that you listen to that has guitar will use palm muting. The technique involves resting the side of the palm of your hand on the guitar strings to partially dampen the vibrations and keep the strings from fully ringing out, which gives it a much more percussive or heavy sound. So for example, without palm muting, you'd have versus pretty big difference. Palm muting is often used in rock and metal along with power chords. So oftentimes alternating between palm muting a single note and playing power chords or palm muting a power chord and then going to an open one. So for example, Another common thing here in rock and metal is that you'll often be using palm muting to mute the low E string and chug along on that in between power chords. Okay, so now we know what palm muting is, but how do we do it? It's pretty simple overall, but we'll definitely take some time to get comfortable with the positioning of your hand on the guitar and also with alternating between playing palm muted and non-palm muted parts of music. So to palm mute, what you're going to want to do is take the side of the palm of your hand right here, kind of from your pinky down to the top of your wrist, and then just kind of take this part of your hand and rest it right above the bridge of your guitar on top of the strings. You'll want to rest it pretty gently because you don't want to accidentally push too hard and shift the pitch of the notes, especially if you have a floating bridge system, you could end up moving that tremolo up and down. So just rest it pretty gently and just barely in front of the bridge of your guitar. The positioning of this might vary a bit depending on the type of guitar you have and how the bridge is set up. So what I recommend doing is just putting it near the bridge to start and then shifting your hand up and down to figure out where that sweet spot is. It also might just vary depending on what sound you're going for. There's not necessarily a one right sound. You might want it more muted for something or less muted for a different song. So definitely just shift your hand around and see what you like. What you could even do is if you're not sure about positioning, you could start with the side of the palm of your hand on the bridge itself and then slowly move it up until you get the sound you want. So let's try that out. So right now the palm of my hand is resting on the bridge and it's not touching the strings at all so I'll get no muting. And now let's try moving it up to see where we get a sound that we like. Now it's barely on the string. It's muted, but maybe it could be a little bit more. I like it there, but it really depends on what you like and what sound you're going for. If I keep moving my palm further up the strings, you'll see that I'll get a more muted sound. At some point it doesn't really seem usable, but who knows, there might be a use in some sort of scenario. But you just want to find that sweet spot where it sounds nice and chunky, but isn't overly muted and isn't too not muted if you're going for a palm muted sound. For me and my guitar, if I just press that part of my hand, just barely above the bridge, that is where I get my preferred sound. But again, just try it out, experiment, and see what works for you. Now, it may take some time to get used to the position of your hand and to feel comfortable getting back to it quickly, and that is totally okay. You'll definitely get it down with practice. I actually had some issues myself when I was learning palm muting. I wasn't really always doing it strongly enough. I was sometimes having my hand too far back, like basically on the bridge, so I was not really getting that much palm muting at all. And I actually posted a cover of Paranoid by Black Sabbath, which has a ton of palm muting in it. And in that cover, I was kind of barely palm muting, so you could barely see that it was not just ringing out fully. And the YouTube comments pretty quickly let me know that I was not doing it correctly. <laughs> but basically, we'll just take some time to get down, and that is okay. But it'll be a really fun technique to have in your arsenal, and it will help you learn lots of rock and metal music. So again, to palm mute, all you have to do is take the side of the palm of your hand and rest it just above the bridge of your guitar, gently on the strings, and then you'll have a nice chunky sound. You can use palm muting on any of the strings on the guitar, but you may have to shift your hand a bit if you want to play palm muted notes on the higher strings. But if you're just starting out, I'd recommend focusing on playing palm muted notes and chords on the lower three strings, just because that will be most common if you're playing rock and metal. So now that you know how to do it, how should you practice it? There are a lot of great ways to practice palm muting. One of them might just be going up and down a scale, alternating between playing 
palm-muted and non-palm-muted notes. This or exercises like it are really important and useful because you'll want to get used to the feeling of alternating between playing a palm-muted and a non-palm-muted note since it's really common in music. So one exercise could be something like this where you play one note four times and then you move on to the next one and you alternate whether the note is palm-muted or not. <laughs> So you can do this with any scale or even just the chromatic scale, just go one, two, three, four, up and down the neck. That will totally work. It's just about getting used to alternating between palm muting and not palm muting. And when you switch, it should just be a very slight movement up and down. You don't want to have to do too much moving, so not like, like that, because that would get in the way of your playing when you're playing quickly. Just try to keep the movement small and just really gently lift off and lift down when you're trying to alternate between palm muting and not palm muting. To keep it really simple starting out, you actually might want to just do this exercise on an open string, like the open E string, and just practice playing it muted and not muted and alternate that. And that will help you get used to the feeling of switching between the two different styles of playing. I'd also recommend practicing muting with power chords since that's a really common thing. So one thing you can do is just alternate between muted and not muted power chords. Something like that. You can do this anywhere you want using power chords. You can even make up your own riffs that involve alternating between muted and non-muted power chords. Whatever makes it fun for you is a great way to do it. You'll also probably want to practice just doing a single muted string followed by an open power chord because that is super common in rock and metal and also really fun to do. You could also practice playing a note on the low E string muted and then playing notes on the A string that aren't muted, something like this. That is something you'll see really often in songs, so something that's worth getting used to. And my personal favorite way of learning this technique and really learning any technique on guitar is just to find songs that you love that use the technique and learn them. So many bands use palm muting in pretty much all of their songs, like Metallica, Iron Maiden, Ghost, Black Sabbath, really any band you can think of that plays heavy guitars will use palm muting. So there's definitely a song that you like that you could try to learn to get down your palm muting. I really recommend starting practicing this way as soon as possible. Even if you can't get a riff up to full speed, that is totally okay. It will still get used to using palm muting in the actual context of a real song. Plus it's really fun. Really there are a ton of different ways you can practice your palm muting and all of them are a lot of fun because it's really fun to play palm muted notes on guitar with some distortion. But really the most important thing is just making sure that you get used to being able to quickly find that position for your palm on your guitar and are able to alternate between playing palm muted and non-palm muted when you want to. So I think that is all you need to know to get started with palm muting on guitar. It's a very fun technique used in many genres of music and it is a super essential one, especially if you're playing rock and metal. It will take some practice to get down, but all you have to do is experiment with your positioning and get comfortable finding that spot on the guitar. If you have any questions about palm muting, definitely let me know in the comments. And again, if you missed my last lesson video on how to play power chords, I will have that linked in the description. Also, please let me know if there are any particular lessons lessons you'd like to see from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a ton of fun with palm muting on the guitar and I will see you in the next video.